to a third language, which is English. And so our next game on the card is Super Destronaut EX2. And it is available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and Xbox One. Um, so a couple of things before we do get started with our game. Um, I do just want to take the time to let you all know that the following game, Super Destronaut VX2, uses flashing lights and images that can be an issue for those who have photosensitivity issues, even if you've never had them before. So, viewers' discretion is advised when watching this game. Also, I'd like to take the time to thank the publishers and developers of the game for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on the industry. So, a couple of things before we start. Um, we're only going to probably play this for 15 minutes because that's usually my limit for photosensitivity type games. Um, but in this one, you can actually turn off settings so to make it better. So, I did turn off the bloom. I turned off the chromatic uh, reparation and screen shake to lessen the blow for those who do have photosensitivity issues but it still doesn't like cut out everything so again viewers discretion is advised when watching this footage um let's go ahead we're gonna jump right on into we're gonna do arcade mode and we're gonna jump right on into this so you guys can kind of see this um it's pretty much in my opinion kind of a um uh, love letter to space and um, but you'll see here in a moment. I actually kind of like this one. And you can actually slow down the bullets as well, so you can dodge. That ship gives us extra points. Ah, welcome back, Draconic dude. Yep, so we are currently playing Destronaut, or Super Destronaut EX2, and this one is only available on consoles. So you can play, you can get this one through the Switch, PlayStation, um, PS4, PS5, and Xbox One. And it's pretty much, in my opinion, kind of a remake of Space um, this does have photosensitivity, um, um, it does have a photosensitivity warning, um, as I stated before the game started. Even if you've never had photosensitivity issues, um, if you, if you do have them, or you start to feel any discomfort, of course, for the, at least the next 15 minutes, um, please try to, uh, Protect yourself and look away from the screen. Oh, got me. Yeah, they really do. Like, this is definitely, um, I was saying earlier that this is kind of like a love letter to, like, Space Invaders. But I can definitely see Galico, too. And like I said, we'll, we're going to be playing this for roughly about 15 minutes because that was uncomfortable because of the fact that I can't do sensitivity type games. Now it does have in the option, like this isn't so bad for me because I turned some of the things off that would cost me discomfort. I didn't mean to do that. Um, <laughs> so it does have some ways for you to kind of adjust the game a bit. 
to make it a little more uh, friendly. But even then, it still has some flashing lights. So, um, you know, and of course, as I always tell everyone, you know, your health is more important to me than getting a view. So if you do suffer from photosensitivity, um, definitely, you know, I don't want you to, you know, hurt yourself, basically, or get hurt just for the sake of you. And I usually try to play these games for about, like I said, 15 minutes or so. Overall, graphically, the game, I keep dying, but it, uh, the game does look very beautiful. And one of the reasons I uh, was interested in this game is because it did remind me of like Space Invaders, which was a game I did enjoy as a child. You can actually also slow down time as well by hitting the B button on the switch. Of course, just like the older base invaders, hitting the ship gives you extra points. try a different mode here too because I do want to try one more other mode at least. Um, this is, this is the arcade mode. Yeah, it does. Yep, the power is short-lived. Um, there's time attack. You have 30 seconds, gain seconds from complete ways and losing, lose, losing health. Okay, give it a go. So we get time for clearing the waves. Let's see how well we do. Oh, we lose time if we lose health. Got it. Okay. Okay. 
try this one again. Because, yeah, I can definitely feel... Because <laughs> I got hit, had I not got hit. Had I not got hit. We'll make this the last go around because we do have one more game to play. Which is a two for one. So we'll make this probably our last go around. I would say it's probably been about 15 minutes. I shouldn't have slowed down. Had I not slowed down, that would have not happened. I'm gonna go. I was gonna stop it. Stop this one at about 12:30. That should, like I said, that should at least be. I think we ran out of time that time. Again, that is Super Destronaut DX2. This one is available on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and PlayStation And again, a big thank you to the developers, publishers of the game for providing me with a free game to play on tonight's stream.